And my beautiful Virgos, welcome into your bonus reading. Thank you for being here. We are looking at uh, the month or the energy of October, but it is a bonus. So if you really got your October reading, you can watch this one as well. Nothing is by accident. We are going to be looking at the main energy of what's happening in this reading, what you need to know. Then we're going to go on to what you're going to be thinking about, where's your focus going to be, any kind of challenge that you may be encountering moving forward over the next couple of weeks or days. Um, also looking into what's going on with people in your life, around you, what is happening with life in general. And then I'm going to get advice from your spiritual team as we are moving forward. So let us begin. All right, straight out, we've got the listen card coming in which is the High Priestess. So you may be thinking quite deeply at the time about life, about what is going on around you. Your focus is an Ace of Swords and it is called Clarity of Belief. Your challenge is the Four of Pentacles and it says open up, okay? Um, people around you, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is well-deserved reward. <clears throat> wow. Um, wow again. You've also got the Six of Pentacles with regards to life around you, which says giving and receiving. Advice moving forward is a shine, your light, and that is the Sun card. Very interesting vibes coming up here for you. Um, I think the beginning, the main energy showing up here is the energy of the High Priestess. I think that when it says listen there, it's almost like you could be paying attention to certain things Paying attention to your soul, because the high priestess is very much internal wisdom, um, spiritual wisdom from within. Um, listening to something, intuition, the vibes that you are getting about life or some kind of thing that's going on with you. Maybe making decisions as well from a, almost like trusting, judge, feeling what this world is saying to me, intuitive feelings, nudges, seeing signs, those kinds of things. And you're, you're listening. You're listening to them. So you could be almost feeling as if it's time for a change or feeling as if something is about to begin and you could be going, okay, I think it's time I get moving. I think it's time something's about to happen here. But you could be feeling this more than actually seeing it which is interesting so a lot of spiritual growth there the emperor rocking up underneath there a major arcana and the king of pentacles and the emperor's energy is always about taking control of your own destiny taking control of your life it doesn't always have to be that it can represent a person it can represent a kind of energy um it's very very independent it's very um, intelligent as well and it is all about making moves it's about taking back your power it's about taking control um, it's about just standing up for yourself as well and I kind of see this showing up for you here I feel like you do know <laughs> it's so interesting because <laughs> my daughter's Virgo she's also a tarot reader on YouTube I will link her page at the end of the reading so you can go check out her video this is actually something that she did and <laughs> I'm just remembering now come to a realization about so she kind of realized oh okay this is about the emperor being a leader kind of person so she's watching she'll know what I'm talking about and you may be reeling or realizing or you may be saying to yourself you may be wanting to be in a leadership position you may be saying I want to be self-employed I want to open a business I want to study further and I want to get myself into a place of strong power here this could be what is calling you with that listen energy. It's almost like intuitively something saying, go open your own business. Go online and go advertise whatever it is that you have to offer out there into the world and start this journey so that you can, look how it's on the boat steering the sunflower, I love it, um, towards the destination, King of Pentacles, where you do become very independent, where you become very strong, where... <clears throat> I feel like you're walking your own path here. You are who you want to be. <coughs> and I feel like you want to also get your life to a place that's very, very strong with the King of Pentacles. And extra strong ever with the Emperor, even with the Emperor being there. And that is also Aries in your reading. I feel like you're trusting something, a voice in your soul, you know, your higher self, something that's saying to you, this is meant for you, let's go. 
and you are making a decision here about this with the clarity of belief. This is the Ace of Swords. This is where your focus is now. Hyper, super um, uh, focused on what you know is right for you. Clarity of belief. I think this is really who I am. And I think I need to move in this direction. You know, you know what is happening here is going to unfold for you. We've got Pisces in your reading over the next couple of months for you. I think there's going to be huge changes with this energy. Um, the moon card tied back to also spirituality, intuition, uh, cycles of life is still coming into play here. So you are definitely learning to flow with that cycle of life. But I also feel like your determination to change something now, you know it's going to move in the future. And you also know that it's going to bring you into this energy of a new cycle in your life. This could be what you're feeling. Um, you could be feeling that there is a new cycle coming in for me. And I can feel it. I can feel it, but I don't see it yet. I know, but I can feel something's about to change. And this is an amazing card. So if you were seeing, like, I've been seeing 11, 11, triple, you know, triple one, like one, 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 all day, every day for like the past couple of weeks to a month and a half. It's crazy. Have you been seeing it too? Comment below. Um, this is you celebrating having achieved this and not only celebrating having achieved stepping into this new place where you call the shots in your life okay congratulations um but also celebrating the fact that you did trust your intuition that you did follow what your soul told you and it it was revealed to you it's almost like an awakening happening here your biggest challenge is not knowing the way Okay, not knowing how. Because with the Four of Pentacles, this is an insecurity card. It says open up. But this card, the Four of Pentacles, is all about insecurity. Because it's saying like, I need to be careful. I need to hold all my tarot decks really close to me. Because maybe I'll never get any more. You know, I need to be careful how I am. What if, what if I never know how to read these tarot decks? What if, um, what if... What if, what if? That's what the Four of Pentacles is about. And you can see under the Four of Pentacles, there's a Knight of Pentacles, and he's looking at a map there. And he's like, you know, that's where you're trying to go. That's where, you, that's the Emperor. That's that's you trying to get yourself to that Four of Wands, which is that X marks the spot. And you also know it's going to take some time. And you're trying to figure out how do I get there? And I think your biggest challenge is getting stuck where you do not want to be. The Ten of Swords. Um, you can't escape this. Whatever this is. Like the life that you don't want to have. The lack of freedom that you don't have right now. Um, experiences that just do not want to be there. You do not want them to be there. Maybe they won't be there either. Just all those kinds of things that you navigating through you just worry they're going to get to you they're going to get you you know what I mean and then maybe I won't be able to set myself free maybe I won't be able to find the x marks the spot on the map and I feel like the universe and God whatever you call this energy um is saying open up to this possibility not even to the possibility to the fact that this new cycle is coming in and you don't need to know the exact steps to get, to get there. Just open and be like, okay, universe, bring it to me. Take me there and allow this to happen. Because I see, um, especially around you, now we're moving into people around you. We've got a nine of pentacles showing up here, well-deserved reward. You are going to get your life somewhere here, empowered, emperor. There it is. Where you have created something is what he's standing on. You're standing on it. I built this. I created this. Sometimes, I will just say this with regards to people around you. Be careful who you speak to. Be careful um, who you are confiding in. 
because uh, I kind of pick up on a little bit of disappointment with reactions from people around you. I don't know what's going on if there's a person around you that or people that you're spending time with that have got a bit of a pessimistic outlook on life. That this is just terrible, this world is just horrible, everything is bad. And when you're working so hard to change this energy and to step out of what seems to be a trap, you know, for yourself or even other, many people are trapped in, in this trap, okay, <laughs> many, many people. And everybody's trying to come out of it. And it's the biggest lessons that humanity will learn during this time, okay. And it's part of each individual human being on this planet taking back their power from whatever took it, okay. And it's like literally you somehow surrounded by that kind of energy. And because you get surrounded by that energy, it does get you down sometimes and make you go, this may never happen. It also causes you to doubt your journey forward with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, even though with that well-deserved reward, you're working very hard, you may feel as if maybe I will never harvest these sunflowers. Maybe a storm will come and smash them broken because people say things will go wrong all the time. This world is not okay, it's unfair, it doesn't work, you know, all those kind of energies. So you may be going, I don't know if I'll actually be able to harvest this bounty as I move forward. So it's a very difficult energy for you. With the <clears throat> giving and receiving, this is how the universe is actually responding to you. The universe is responding to you. This is the Six of Pentacles. What you are putting out there, you are going to receive a response back. Okay? And the feeling that you have, this is so amazing, because you've got the same card showing up here twice, and it's your challenge. The feeling that you have, the Four of Pentacles, is the feeling that you have of, I need to hold everything because I don't know if things are going to be okay. I must be careful. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm feeling very insecure. It is going to be removed because you're going to see this, the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups comes in for you because of the response from the universe, from whatever it is that creates, which is actually you, I'm just saying, um, you're going to get a response back. And when you get the response back, it is going to be what it is you want it to be. It is going to be what it is you want it to be. And you are going to be, and that's celebration. That is celebration of having done something. The advice that Spirit Guide is giving you <clears throat> is do not hold back. This is a sun card. It says shine. Do not hold back. Do not close yourself off. Remember twice now we've got cards saying, open up, show yourself to the world. Don't be afraid, open up. And they're going, open up, get ready to receive. Do not close yourself off from the gifts that you will be given. Do not close yourself off. Go deeper with the Hermit card, which is there you are in your reading, Virgo. The hermit, okay? Although most Virgos are not really hermit energies, but you guys can go really deep within yourself. That's what I've seen. Um, with the hermit card coming in, go deeper than you've ever gone before. Find strength in yourself that you thought you could never tap into or you didn't even have. Find understanding, find wisdom through this journey that you're on. But one thing you must not do is shut down. Open up, open up, open up your energy. Even though, yes, there's a lot of doubt coming in. There's a lot of naysayers. There's a lot of energy around you that sometimes make you go, I don't know. Even though your soul is saying, listen, listen, follow this path, move forward. Even if you don't know how, keep going in the direction you need to go in. Open your energy Open it up. And if you do so, don't shut down, please. Don't shut down. If you open up, you're going to celebrate because you're going to see that what you're hoping to receive will be given to you. Um, 
shine your light, shine your truth, do not hold back, walk your path, trust in the unknown, even if you have nothing to prove it to be true. And you are going to be very pleasantly surprised with what is coming into your world. A lot of celebration from these two cards here. Congratulations. And if you would like to see who is this other Virgo, okay, that is my daughter, please go check out Aisha. She is here at Sacred Source Tarot. This is her, one of her videos. And um, different tarot reader to me, but definitely I gain a lot of knowledge from her tarot readings. I only go to her for tarot readings, by the way. So go check her out. And uh, that'll be it from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.